Kenatato Katoa, good evening. Experts are calling for the second booster to be rolled out much faster. Today, almost 11,000 new cases were reported. 554 people are in hospital. And sadly, another 15 people with COVID have died. One of the main reasons case numbers are increasing at such a rapid rate is the new BA5 variant. It is taking over. The weekly ESR figures show that BA5 made up just one in 10 infections. That was last week, but this week it's almost one in three. And it's spread across almost the entire country. And based on its spread overseas, ESR thinks by next month it'll make up 90% of all cases. And that's because BA5 is better at evading immunity. Adam Hollingworth reports. If we thought we'd said goodbye to COVID with the end of mandates, we haven't. The stats scream otherwise as cases rise. 31% of them are the BA5 variant. It's higher in Wellington and already up to one in two in Auckland. It's a textbook example of exponential amplification, the snowballing effect. Um, as a variant has an advantage over existing variants and is beginning to, I guess, have a selective sweep through New Zealand. ESR has monitored 435 community samples of COVID in the past week. One in three are BA5. It's highly probable that this is the primary driver that's driving up case numbers here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. ESR says next week BA5 will be the dominant variant and by August it'll be 90% of cases and that's because it's sneaky. So BA5 is probably one of the most evasive versions of COVID-19 virus that we've ever seen. And that is, it has the ability to duck and weave away from uh, immunity gathered by either vaccine or prior infections. There's no indication BA5 is any more severe than other variants, but the sheer numbers it's driving are prompting concerns within the World Health Organization. Globally, reported cases have increased nearly 30% over the past two weeks. Four out of six of the WHO subregion saw cases increase in the last week. In Europe and America, BA4 and BA5 are driving waves. Here, a second booster is being rolled out to people over 50 and health, aged care and disability workers aged 30 and over. It must be at least six months since the previous booster shot and should be at least three months since a COVID infection. I'm trusting the science and I believe with the, um, the new um, variants, it's probably the smart thing to do. Some are calling for the rollout to be extended to people aged over 30, but community health care group ProCare says 50 plus is about right, especially for the many in that group who didn't get the previous dose. The big issue is really about people who haven't had their first booster yet and uh, we, need, we need more people to actually get their first boosters done. Michael Baker says you'd be forgiven for not knowing the second booster rollout started more than a week ago. Yeah, I think it is a major concern because we know it's a challenge to get additional doses delivered and the fact that a third of New Zealanders haven't had that third dose at this stage, I think, is a big concern. First booster or second booster, it's likely we'll be needing one more every year for some time yet, just like for the flu. Kia ora, Adam. So how fast is that booster rollout? Mike, uh, around 60,000 second boosters have been handed out in the first nine days. That's just under 7,000 a day. Now, compare that with the height of Delta when we were getting around 25,000 a day and Super Saturday last October when it was around 130,000 in just one day. Now, Tefatu Aura says there are plenty of vaccine stocks available. And even though in Australia it's being rolled out to the over 30s, Tefatu Aura says there's no evidence that people who are younger and otherwise healthy in the general population need an additional booster at this time. Adam, tēnā koe.